Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. And I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Um, I got we I, the previous video, which I'll put on the bottom of this one, uh, which does our picks for today and all of that stuff like that. I talked about how we were sifting through the letters and uh, we came to a bunch. We poured them on the letter table. We did the letter dance. Yeah, sort of like that. Some people do it different. But we did the letter dance and uh, much frolic, jumped around, and just like we always do. And uh, then uh, Helen picked one of the letters of, of the ones they were sifting through. Uh, the reason why we sift through them is because there's just so many uh, and we can't do them all at one time. So uh, yeah, it's just a, it's sort of like we have our own little algorithm here at uh, Pearls of Wisdom Industries. So yeah. Uh, anyways, we picked one. It was Tahibi Jajul from Punjab, India. And uh, she said, can you do other things other than just NHL picks as far as NHL content is concerned? And uh, thank you, Tahibi. She also asked if uh, what my favorite color was and uh, how Canada is and all kinds of stuff. It was a wonderful letter. But anyways, um, yes, I can. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to kind of do just random topics that come to my mind as I, uh, I was thinking about this, but it, it seemed to be a lot of, uh, I had to read a lot to know like, like rumors that are going on and stuff like that. I don't like doing that. I just like to talk. So that's what I'm going to do. First thing that, uh, Tahibi, before you go, uh, and thank you very much for your letter, but to, before you go making your bets, Smith is going to be in net for the Oilers. So I'm saying that that is my pick of the night. I'm taking Buffalo to win uh, because Smith is just poopy. So that's the first thing you need to know. Uh, other, uh, I had uh, um, Sam Brookbank from uh, San Jose, California, uh, asked uh, what can the San Jose Sharks do? Um, good question. <laughs> uh, okay, I mentioned that I didn't know what San Jose was going to be able to do in my last videos, just coincidentally from this letter. And uh, I said I didn't know. Well, I kind of don't know. They really need goaltending, I suppose. I mean, if I were to go any direction with that team right now, Ever since Carlson was brought there, for some reason, the energy just hasn't been clicking with that team at all. I don't know if it is Carlson. You can't trade him away. But I do know that their goaltending has been poor for a long time. So if you're asking me what they should do, uh, Jones has got a terrible contract. Uh, so it's going to be kind of tough to get rid of that. However, you could get rid of it if you gave up a first round draft pick with him to a team like Ottawa who could use some goaltending they've got some great goaltending coaches there I don't know if they would fly with this um because that's a lot of contract I believe he's making something like five million dollars a year for a few more years yet uh it's a lot of contract to hold on to unless you think you can change this guys around the thing with Santa with with Jones and a lot of people will say this is he has all the tools he physically has all the tools he's got cat like reflexes he's big he's strong he's solid um his the question is what is it about his positioning or what have you or confidence that hasn't been able to progress. Um, that's the other thing. At times, he's done fantastic. Um, a good example would be like in the playoffs a couple of years ago, he was really, really good. So a team like San Jose may give him a shot. They or a team like Ottawa, I should say, may give it a shot. They have uh, their goaltending that they have. Their Anderson's going to be gone. They could give him a try for a bit, see if they can turn him around with their goaltending coaches, and take the first round pick because they're on a rebuild. Okay, let's just say that happens. 
Now, what do you do? You got to run with Dell. Dell has looked better. Dell's cheaper. Then, like I was saying about Nashville, um, they would they would have to go after a guy like Lalim or Lalim, like uh, Laner in Chicago. Um, what other goaltenders are out there right now in uh, Detroit? Howard, not so much. Um, any team that's falling out of the playoffs, whoever their number one is, Markstrom in Vancouver, not likely. They probably like him quite a bit, but Demko, um, you could go those kind of routes where you are taking got younger goaltenders that and giving them a shot. Um, Reimer in Carolina, but I mean, he's looked bad most of his career. I'd say the best, their best bet would be Laner. Um, there's been rumors that Montreal might think about trading Carey Price if they can at $10 million a year. I don't know how San Jose would fit, fit that under the cap. But if you're asking me how to fix it in San Jose, that's probably the direction I'd be looking at is since you can't change all the players. The only thing, the other thing I could think of is just tear it down and rebuild it again. However, after giving Carlson that big of a contract, how do you do that now? Um, my bet would be to throw, I think they're going to give Nabokov some time to see what he can do with that goaltending. Um, and then, uh, Bugner's just started with that team, but they haven't really responded well. And that's the other thing is you could go for some other coach. However, DeBoer was, has been pretty successful everywhere he's gone and he's not successful there. So it's a tough situation there in San Jose. Um, I also, okay, I got a, uh, another letter from, um, uh, Tammy Pubilee from Sudbury, Ontario. And she's asking, where do you think that Creter will go to? Or, and do you think the Rangers will re-sign him? Uh, the answer is, I don't think that the Rangers will re-sign Creter. They have guys like Howden and young players that are coming up that, could are pushing that spot um, being a rebuilding team it wouldn't make so much sense to stunt their growth to it for a player that hasn't really highly performed to where a lot of people expected them to um, but uh, so my thinking is that they'll likely trade them now what will they get back for him and where will he go there's lots of teams out there that would like to have a guy like Creter. The guy, the team that comes to my mind um, would be the Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins desperately need scoring depth. They've had a difficult time all year in their scoring depth. Um, they've still done well under the with the top line that they have, the fantastic trio there of uh, uh, Pasta, uh, Bergeron and Marchand, but DeBrus Krejci is always injured. What is it with that guy? Bubble wrap that dude and don't let him leave the house. My gosh, constantly getting injured. And uh, they don't really have all that much depth as far as in the scoring department to make up for Krejci's injuries. Um, not that Kreider is going to help that all that much, but they will give him another winger so they don't have to play guys like Hayden uh Hayden or Hayden, whatever his name is there, um, Heinen in, uh, on the right-hand side is probably not that type of player. In fact, on a lot of teams, you'd probably be playing on the fourth line. So you could put DeBrusque on that side. Hopefully, Krejci, you can weld him together. <laughs> Good enough that he stays healthy. Uh, Charlie Coyle can fit in that spot on the third. It's not the ideal, but there is some depth there. And then have Crater on the left. I think that, so what are they going to give up? I think they give up a first round draft pick. And uh, they have some defensemen there that uh, have been pushing for the last little while. Uh, so I think that they, some young, some young defensemen. And New York Rangers could definitely use some young defense, deep, deep prospects. But I think that's pretty much what you're looking at. A first round pick and a decent uh, prospect going back for the Rangers in that pick. 
other teams that might go that way, might be looking that way. If Minnesota's still in the uh, situation, they may do stuff. They've been known to do that. I don't think it's wise for them to do that right now, but they've been known to do something. The aforementioned that I talked about here, San Jose, if they can get their shit together, may consider something like that. But the only problem is they've given their first round draft pick already to the Ottawa Senators. And that's the reason why I would throw something at a goaltender because a goaltender can make your season. Look at Chicago. Chicago should be going nowhere. If it wasn't for Laner, they wouldn't even be close to the playoffs right now. So yeah, I, if I'm San Jose, I would do that. And then they could go after a guy like Creter, but I don't think they have, really have the prospects to do that. Nashville would be interested in a player of his ilk if they get goaltending first. Um, you could pretty much, uh, the Oilers, the Oilers would probably be interested in a guy like Kreider if they were to hold some salary back. And I'd be, I bet you they, they'd be willing, if they're in the contention, still at the trade deadline to give up their first round pick. So there's a lot out there. And thank you for your letters. Um, I'm hitting 11 minutes here. That's a long time. I, I, I did two videos today and I got to get my 14 naps in. And I know you do too. So... Hit the subscribe and the bell. Let's get this thing rolling, boys and girls. I mean, get rolling. It's already rolling because everybody that's listening, I love all you guys. But we want to love. We want to spread the love everywhere. So if we hit the like. This is what they tell me, the YouTube people. The YouTube tell, people tell me that if we hit like, 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 and get people to subscribe and stuff, they'll show these videos to a greater audience in the land. And uh, we will make this amazing uh, energy all over the place. And I'm gonna come see you at your house. One day I'm just gonna show up and you're gonna be like, Barlow! and I'm gonna be like, all right. It's gonna be great. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.